Hi students, in this video we will discuss regarding VAM method that is Vogel approximation method. It is the third method in the series of initial feasible solution. Now this is the method that leads to the optimal solution very fast. So whenever nothing has been written in the question, so you should not go with northwest corner method or least cost entry method, rather you should go with VAM method. Just remember this point. Whenever nothing is written, just written, find out minimum transportation cost, apply VAM method. So for applying VAM method, which is also known as Vogel's approximation method, you have to follow certain steps. First of all, check whether the problem is balanced or not. Otherwise, make it balanced by introducing dummy in the row or column wherever it is required. Once you do this, then calculate unit penalties in every row and every column. How we calculate that? We select a minimum element of every row and the next minimum element of that row and take the difference between the two, which is known as UP, that is unit penalty. In the third step, what we do is we take the maximum UP out of row and column UPs we take the maximum UP, unit penalty. Then we go inside that respective row and column and select the minimum element and then allocate the particular cell a rim. Which is the rim that we have done in the previous videos also. The rim is given the least out of availability and requirement. So like this, you will keep on calculating unit penalties till optimum number of rims have been given in the given transportation cells that will lead to an optimal solution. So now let us see one practical question to understand the concept of VAM in a proper way. Uh, this is a practical question in front of you uh, which we are going to solve with the help of Vogel approximation method. Now you can see in the question there are three consumers ABC and here the four uh, sorry three suppliers have been given. So now we have to find the optimal transportation cost of supplier from the consumers under the Vogel approximation method. So how we will start the Vogel approximation method? First of all, we will start with calculating the unit penalties. So we can start either from uh, below or we can start either from the right side. So first of all, I am going to calculate the unit penalties uh, from the rows. So I am going to write here UP1. This shows this is my unit penalty 1. So what will I do? I will go inside this. So there are three cost cells. So I will see which one is the minimum. Of course, one is the minimum and which one is the next minimum out of six and four, four is the minimum. So first of all, look at the value, the cost cell having the uh, lowest value, six, four, one. The lowest is one and the next least is four. So I will just take the difference. The difference of one and four is three. So here you will not put any minus or plus sign, just lowest value and the next lowest value, take the difference between the two. Next, from this side, from the second column, I will take 2 is the minimum and 8 is the next minimum. So three values were there, 2, 9 and 8. So I am taking the minimum as 2 and the next minimum is 8. So difference between 8 and 2 is 6. Here for me minimum is 4 and next minimum is 6. So unit penalty 1 row has come to me 3, 6, 2. Now the same thing I will do column wise also in this column from this row I will do this. So here also I will write unit penalty 1. So I will go inside this row. Three cost cells are there. Minimum is 4. Next minimum is 6. So difference is 2. Here minimum is 4. Next minimum is 8. Difference will be 4. Here minimum is 1. Next minimum is 2. So difference will be 1. So like this we have to calculate unit penalty this row wise and column wise also. So now out of these unit penalties we have to select the maximum UP. 3, 6, 2, 2, 4, 1. Which one is the maximum? Of course this is the maximum. So we will move inside this column. So I am going inside this. So I have to choose the minimum cost cell. 8, 9, 10. Which one is the minimum cost cell? Of course it is 2. So here I have to put a rim. So I will see availability in front of that 5 and I will see requirement in front of that 10. So 5 and 10, least of these because if availability is 5 only, if either the requirement is 10, so I can make only 5 units available. So here this will become 0 and here this will become 5. 5 has been assigned in the form of a rim in this cell. So where it has become 0, now on this side it has become 0. 
of course we are going to delete that row if column would have become zero we would have deleted that column now there are two options either you can move ahead in the same table or you can create another table where this row will not be shown only these two rows will be shown otherwise you can delete this with the help of a pencil and then you can move ahead in the same uh, table now we have to calculate again unit penalty we have calculated unit penalty with this row earlier now we will calculate up2 second unit penalty how this will be calculated in the same manner that we have earlier done we will move inside this which one is the minimum only two rows are there this third row has already been deleted so of course two are there minimum is four next minimum is six so my unit penalty comes out to be two because i have only two options here 8 and 9 two values are there difference will be 1 8 and 4 difference will be 4 so same i'm going to do column wise also penalty 2 up2 so i'm going inside this i have three values so which one is minimum 4 next minimum 6 so it is going to come 2 again second row minimum is 4 next minimum is 8 so difference is 4 this has already been deleted so no value so out of these whatever we have unit penalties we have to select the highest value now here see 2 4 here it is 2 1 4 so which one is the highest value 4 and 4 so now we have to select one particular row or column because here it is a tie case so a tie has been discussed in another video also so here in this question we will see how we break the tie we have to go inside the cells add these cost values 9 plus 8 17 17 plus 4 21 i have to go inside this also two are left 8 and 4 12 so wherever you see the minimum total we will go inside that cell otherwise you can see this tie breaking video separately also so i am selecting this and going inside the cell so when i go inside the cell 8 and 4 which one is minimum 4 so i have to assign here a particular rim in front of this availability is 14 while the requirement is 15 so of course i can make available only 14 units this will become 0 and this will become 1 so with this this has become 0 so my first row is also getting deleted so i am left only with one row so now if i will calculate unit penalty 3 i have only one value i cannot calculate so i have to stop the question here whenever you are having only one row and column just stop the question and we have three cells select the minimum this is the four in front of that requirement is six availability is 12 so i will put a six over here this is going to be zero and this will become six with this this column will be deleted now we are left with only two cell start with the minimum eight here it is one here it is six so one this will become zero it will be five so here 5 here 5 so finally we are having five rim over here this will make this also zero and this also zero this is why because availability and requirement that were given in the question its total was 31 and both side it should be equal like we have done earlier in case of least square met, uh, least cost entry method and in the north west corner method same thing applies here also it was a balanced problem that is why all the availability and requirements have become zero so now when availability and requirements are zero we have reached the optimal solution and now we will show the answer as it is we were doing in the previous methods 4 into 6 9 into 5 like that let's just show the answer now now see first circle i can see here so supplier 1 has been assigned c consumer and the cost for this is going to be 4 into 14 so 4 into 14 comes out to be 56 rupees now second rim i can see in the second row all our rims are there so second supplier is being allotted first a 4 into 6 24 then second supplier has been given b consumer also 9 into 5 45 and the second supplier has been given c consumer also 8 into 1 rupees 8 in the third row to the third supplier i can see only b customer has been given so 2 into 5 10 so like this wherever rims circles have been allotted you have to just show 
the transportation cost. Now we will add all this to calculate the optimal transportation cost. It is rupees one hundred and forty-three. So this is the minimum transportation cost according to VAM method. 